today I'm going to have a whole day at the plot. I was actually up here quite early, dropping off some wood chip because we've had a wood chip delivery. And oh, I'm going to give the shed a bit of a tidy. Tours with me. Yeah, I'm staying up here all day today and I probably won't come home until about, I don't know, 10 o'clock at night, maybe. We'll see. I'm going to crack on with a load of different jobs today. Um, usually like the day's interrupted because I've got to like go pick up Flo from school. Flo's actually on a residential with her school this week until Friday. And um, it's the first time she has been away from home for so long, Monday to Friday. And oh, it's a little bit, it's a little bit like, oh, poor Flo, will she be okay? I'm sure she'll be fine. She's very mature for her age. Um, but it's still going to be so weird. It's going to be really quiet around the house. And Tor will miss her, won't you? Yeah, he's, he's sulking already. But yeah, I thought I would come up the plot and just do a load of jobs, crack on with things literally all day. I've got food supplies. I've got drinks. That's the wind chime. <laughs> food supplies, drinks, gonna like cook some steak for lunch, steak rolls. I've got loads of water. I've got loads of coffee, uh, loads of battery packs for filming. <laughs> and we are just gonna crack on with loads of stuff to all, aren't we? Yeah, it's also been raining, so he doesn't like that. Anyway, first things first, let's sort out the shed. A treat for Tor. There you go, that'll keep him happy for the day. And of course, Sylvie is here sheltering from the rain. Oh, it's like an animal sanctuary today. Well, hopefully this should stop soon. Oh, Tor. He's very wary of brooms, aren't you? And do you know what? I will tell you why. A little bit of a story about Tor. You've probably seen him in quite a few of our vlogs. So he is mine, Hannah, and Flo's dog. And Tor, we think, is around four years old. So it's kind of hard to tell. So Tor is a rescue dog. He came over from uh, Romania. And we've had him, I'd say, about two years now. So Tor is a, an absolute baby. So we, we have this thing where he, he always does like a, a sad looking face to, to get attention. Um, and it's that, oh, poor Tor. So yeah, you might hear us say that quite a lot. So yeah, we don't really know Tor's, Tor's background. We don't know what breed he is. Um, he, he's just bits and pieces, but he is such a good boy. He's, he's so loving, he's so nice, he's so cuddly. He will just be picked up and carried around like a baby. He does like coming up to the allotment. He especially likes seeing Sylvie as well, the cat. But as I was mentioning about the, the broom earlier, so Tor had a real fear of brooms when he first came over here with us. Whenever we were sweeping the floor, even if we tried to brush him as well, he loves being brushed now. But brooms, yeah, we do wonder if maybe something happened in his past home in Romania when he was a baby, uh, he was chased with a broom or maybe swept around the floor with it i don't know but he he hates brooms he hates water as well he absolutely hates it which is strange because he's got the best webbed feet for swimming you've ever seen and his best friend is uncle alf so that's my mum and dad tilly and nick's dog who is a 13 year old lurcher and he adores uncle alf Tor is very much a pack dog so he needs another dog to lead him he needs to be around his pack all the time because he's he's very flighty sometimes but yeah you love uncle alf don't you tour uncle alf see he's just like he loves him oh uncle alf but uncle alf isn't really keen on tour like he tolerates him but you love uncle alf don't you but uncle alf just tolerates you yeah so that's Tor. Anyway, I'll finish tidying the shed, I'll show you that. And then I guess we should probably get on with some gardening, maybe. Building uh, something, I don't know, something allotment related. 
Oh, poor Tom. Oh, 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 he's all soft on his bed. So this is it, it's all tidied up. I do like a nice tidy shed because you can just kind of get things done without bumping into stuff. And it just, it's nice and homely. There, it's all tidy. Floor swept. And now it is time to get back on the plot and actually do some allotmenteering. Let's go. If you remember these bamboo fences from one of the past vlogs, I think I showed you guys how to make them if you so choose to. But I think I'm gonna build another two fences today. The plan is to have fences all the way along both plots. If I just show you here, so I think we'll build one here and here today. And then where the path is there, there will be a lovely archway. I've actually built one on the other plot. I'm gonna show you that because I don't think I've shown you. Here it is, the grand entrance to the homestead. So this one, I kind of wanted to model it on the sort of American ranch entrances, but because Hannah quite likes Japanese culture, just decide to cut the ends off and give it that Japanese feel. So yeah, pretty pleased with this. I think it looks quite nice. I'll show you a before shot. Just before I start the build, I have to show you Hannah's gladioli are going to flower soon. Look at these. Um, also next to it, look, we have a really sad sunflower. So when I was weeding out the potatoes the other day, I grabbed this and I thought, oh, it's a weed, but it's not, it's, it's a sunflower. So unfortunately, I think I damaged the roots, but um, we planted it. It's been in a couple of days and we've been watering it and hopefully it will survive. ground is like rock. We've not had any rain for a little while. Well, not any heavy rain anyway. So I'm having to like chisel out little holes and then fashion them in like that. 22 inches from the ground. Right, the main support poles are in for both fences. And I've just realized it's two o'clock and I haven't eaten a single thing today. So it's time to go cook up some lunch. Mmm, steak sizzlers with teriyaki sauce. There we go, that's another two fence panels done. There's a gap up there. That'll be another entrance to the plot this side where I will put another archway. And I just need to do smaller bamboo fences each side. But I think they're nice. Kind of looks quite rustic. They're quite nice to make. It's quite peaceful doing it as well. It's four o'clock, the fences are done. And I thought I'd come in and just see tour and look, do you see what I mean? When I said he's a baby, so he loves having a cuddle like this, just snuggling in like an absolute baby. Oh, he's so tired. Anyway, now I'm gonna head over to Tilly's plot because I need to bang in some posts to put up some netting to cover up the blueberries, which the wood pigeons, I think, have been munching on. So we're gonna do that until we can go for a little walk. Do you want to go walkies? Yeah? Do you want to have a walkies? Here we are, Tilly's plot. To this way. But is it the chick? Oh, he's looking at the chickens. Right, so there's the existing fruit cage. And we've got some poles in and a support across the top to stop the netting from ripping. 
that's a little bit higher than the other one but that's good because I might be able to actually fit in it because Tilly is the height of a hobbit. <coughs> Sorry. I don't think I could ever get tired of that view. It's so nice. Right, Tor's having a little bit of a walk just to stretch the old legs. And we just finished up at Tilly's. It's about five o'clock. So it's coming up for dinner time for Tor. I just had that steak. That's, that's enough for me for a while. Right, so we're gonna go back to mine and Han's plot. And I'm gonna put down some wood chip that I collected early this morning. Cause we finally had a delivery. Yeah, let's go, come Tor. Back in and flopped out on the floor. It is quite hot today, although it's slightly cloudy. Oh, he's a hot dog. This is what I picked up this morning, the wood chip. So every now and again, we get a wood chip delivery and we can take as much as we want. It's all free. It's like a local company that comes and drops it off. I think a lot of other people, or some of you guys get that on your sites as well, from what I've heard. I think what I'm gonna do is just top up some of the existing paths. We've got two left to do on this plot. So there's that path there and this one, but I do want to build decking boards. So similar to those there along the potato plot there. So I think rather than put down the wood chip now, I'm going to wait and then put that down first. But all these other paths really need topping up. Like there's areas down here that I'm missing it because we just didn't have enough wood chip. But I think I'll get that sorted out today. Let's get some put down. I mean, that's it, 11 bags, and there's still a lot of areas left to do. I really wanted to do inside here. Maybe if there's anything left in the wood chip pile, I can do that. And, um, oh, look, Sylvie's arrived. Tor, is it dinner? Is it dinner time? Come on then. It's about quarter past seven in the evening now and it's time to do a bit of watering. I'm just checking the pumpkins out. Like, look at this. This is our first and biggest. So this one needs to be looked after. I'm a little bit concerned though, because it looks like we have a few, uh, where is it here? Yeah, a few cases of brown spot. So I have been trimming away any leaves that are going yellow like this because it will spread. I mean, I'm just hoping that it'll be okay, but I guess the best thing to do is just trim off the infected bits. But I mean, you know, we got a pumpkin. It's pretty good. Nick and Tilly are here. It's about half seven-ish. And Tor is going home to see his mummy. Oh, do you yeah. want to see Uncle Alf? Show them the eggs. Is it six eggs from the girlies? Mmm. Delicious. And Delicious. A lettuce. Yeah, that's from the polytunnel because the melons need more room. Ready? Right. Let's right. go. Later, Bye, then. Tor. Bye. 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 And I'm staying up here. <laughs> Bye. Just on the way back to the polytunnel, but I have to show you these. The poached egg plants, they have all started flowering. And I'm really happy about this because these I had to grow from seed. They weren't growing outside at all. And they look lovely. And these attract all sorts of positive insects to the allotment. Hi. 
So the home for the little gem lettuce will be near the chilies. I'm so pleased with these chilies. They're coming on brilliantly. So the little gem will be going in here beside the cucumbers and the green boys. So I've got this space here. So I just want to make use of it. So these are easy to grow. And I think there'll be a nice little addition to put in here. So with the soil moistened up, I'm just going to turn it over. This has like several varieties of compost. All this stuff is the, the soil, the natural soil from underneath. So I'm just gonna get the ground nice and prepared, all broken up. I'm just adding some extra boosted power compost to the rows, which are about 25 centimeters apart, which apparently is what little gems need. And this has got like added plant food, John Inns, which is supposed to be quite good. So this soil should be quite nice for the little gems to go in now. I always think of like soil is like, if you're painting soil, it's like the canvas. And the better quality the canvas, the, re the easier it is to paint. It's funny what you think of, isn't it? When you're, you're planting things. I don't know, that may just be like mumbo jumbo to some of you guys, but <laughs> I thought it was quite interesting. An interesting way to look at it. Apparently you're supposed to get around 1,200 seeds per packet. And you're supposed to sow these quite thinly, which I'm trying to do. I, I think I'm achieving that. <laughs> and um, I know lettuce is, is probably like a really boring thing to film but um the climate that we've got in the uk at the moment and judging by everyone's experiences of how hard things are to grow well it'll be interesting to see i mean yeah we've kind of got like a, a head start with the polytunnel but still it's hot one minute cold the next just water the last row i love this i don't know what these are called i can't remember but they're so good they're really satisfying to use as well. What are they called? Uh, leave a comment, because I probably won't look it up. Uh, pneumatic waterer, I, I don't know. Right, so they're all watered in. And last but not least, I'm gonna put this in with the date they're planted. I've been really slack on that this year. I've done like some, I've done some plants and I haven't done others. And I think next year I'm definitely gonna pay more attention to putting in plant labels with dates because I've just forgotten when things have gone in. But apparently these will take about seven to 12 days to germinate. But honestly, with the heat at the moment, I reckon it will be more like seven. So I'll put that there and that's it. And now we wait. Oh, there's a beefsteak tomato. And also the black moons. These are looking really nice. And there's loads of them here. Right, I need to put these Brussels sprouts in their bigger pots. Do you ever get distracted by things? Like you start doing one job and then you look at something and then you think, okay, I need to look at this. Taking the suckers off the tomatoes, for example, I constantly get distracted by these things. What is your biggest distraction in the garden? Let me know in the comments. Okay, so here are the sprouts, F1 variety. And I'm gonna move them into three inch pots. So I'm gonna fill them all up, transfer the seedlings, fairly basic. Eighteen Brussels, all ready for the next stage of growth. And if you're wondering where we're gonna put these, I will show you very quickly now. 10 past nine, just emerged from the polytunnel. So this is where the, the Brussels will go. This is where our early potatoes have been planted. We are gonna put a path right down the middle of this plot and wood chip it because it is, is very big. And to be honest, this year we grew a lot of early potatoes. We grew way too many. We're not even halfway through yet. And uh, 
we've we've got the main crop over there which we're going to be getting onto in a couple of months but the brussels will go here in either the left or right half of the plot we'll completely rotate this weed it over and uh, stick them in here fingers crossed we'll have a nice harvest in time for christmas well it's about 20 to 10 in the evening i said i'd be here till 10 o'clock and yeah it looks like i i will be by the time i finish this last job in the evening helping out the the malaga f1 melons if you've made it this far into the video thank you so much for watching please do drop a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and if you have subscribed thank you so much and why not leave a comment we love reading your comments and we try to reply to as many of them as we possibly can so the last job of the evening i'm going to be using this paintbrush to help pollinate the melon plant so it involves taking the pollen from a male flower and then brushing it gently onto the female one it's a very delicate and intricate procedure which i'm about to perform let's get pollinating